is Juanita Galloway, and I am 69 years old, and I live in Renton, Washington, which is right outside of Seattle, Washington. And I have lived here all my life. My mom was a teacher, and my dad was a, a postal employee. And um, due to the fact that my mother was a teacher, um, my sisters and I often followed my mother to the schools where she was assigned, which it seemed like she was reassigned every year or so. And so I went to several different elementary schools and it was, um, yeah, so it was interesting. Um, in high school, I was kind of encouraged by one of the nuns in, uh, in the elementary school to apply to um, Blanchett L uh, High School. And so I did. I was accepted to Blanchett. I went to Blanchett and I wound up being um, the first black student and only black student at Blanchett High School for three years. So I integrated Blanchett and was the first also graduate, first black graduate of Blanchett High School. And so that was an interesting experience being the only being the only black student at my high school. Mostly okay, but there were some there were some memorable times. For instance, when Martin Luther King was assassinated, that was that was very that was difficult for me. Um, which I'll never forget because no one even mentioned it to me. I mean none of the teachers, there were no black teachers, then there, like I said, there, I was the only black student. So it was like, it was just totally ignored, like it wasn't important. And I'll, I'll never forget that. Um, and it, uh, you might say inspired the way I act, acted with um, the students that I eventually had because I became a teacher. So um, to make sure that I, um, let them know that I was aware of things that might touch them as uh, being a part of their culture and um, and trying to be aware of things in, in the cultures of the different students in my class. The world needs a lot of help. <laughs> and um, I try to do whatever I can, a little my, my little corner of the world. And... Uh, I figure I might have another couple decades to live. Who knows? I really feel pretty good for my age, I think. <laughs> Since so I'm going to be 70 in July, which is what, three months away. And um oh gee. At any point, basically before now, I would have thought said, well, 70's old, but I don't feel old. I feel pretty healthy. I, I don't have any, I don't have high blood pressure or don't have diabetes and I just feel pretty healthy, you know. Um, so I feel, yeah, um, not ready to dive out of an airplane, <laughs> which my mother did when see her 90th birthday. She actually uh, did some skydiving. My my cousin took her to Mexico and and she did skydiving on her 90th birthday. She was active until about 99 years old. And we had a big birthday. Uh, I'm so happy we had a big birthday celebration for her when she turned 99. And then we were all saying, you know, family was saying, oh, it's going to be even bigger on her 100th. Unfortunately, she lived to just 99 and a half. So she didn't make the 100th birthday. She just loved, even in her 90s, she would get dressed in a hurry and oh, she'd go see her grandsons play. And uh, she used to want to walk around the block, even when she was on a walker. She wanted to go walking just about every day in nice weather. She wanted to go walking around the block. She'd walk on her walker. <laughs> and uh, she loved to play Scrabble. She was um, alert and smart through. Um, 
up until just the last couple months when she started to decline. Uh, I mean, physically, she was having some issues with kidneys, but uh, she didn't have any um, memory issues. Um, just very sharp, you know, people that talked to her on the phone could never believe that she was that old, you know, and uh, she always thought it was funny. <laughs> you know, people would call and they thought they were talking to somebody in their 40s or 50s because her voice was so young and she was so exuberant and um, uh, young thinking, you know. And when she would say, guess how old I am? And they would guess something like 40. Oh, I'm 99, you know. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I, um, I look to her. I, I think about my mother and how sharp she was. Thank you.